Sam, and welcome to the Hit List Moffat Special. Hi, I'm Leslie, and this week we're at Sunshine Village Ski Resort in the beautiful Rocky Mountains just outside Banff, Alberta, and it's absolutely stunning. The staff are wonderful. They've gone all out for us and even taught us how to ski, so we're having the time of our lives. Yes, we are, and we're here because the Moffats are here writing music for their brand new CD, and we've even got some footage of the guys performing some of these new songs. And the guys have been nice enough to let us hang out with them, so that means this week we'll be stepping off the chart to play 100% Moffitt's videos. We're gonna go boarding and skiing with the guys and also find out the latest scoop on what they've been up to. Plus, we'll take a look back at some vintage Moffitt moments, including clips from their teeny tiny country days, along with another awesome Moffitt's contest where you can pick up an autographed copy of the official book, The Moffitt's Backstage Pass. We're also going to name the hit list fan of the week who came up with a really cool Moffitt's game, which we're going to play with the guys later on in the show. And I'll be asking the Moffitt's some of your questions. So let's kick off our 90-minute Moffitt special with their very first hit video, I'll Be There For You. That was the Moffat's first hit video, I'll Be There For You. Don't go anywhere, because up next, we've got those Canadian cuties in the flesh. But first, check out their very first appearance on YTV. Come on, Les, let's go catch some sick pow. Hi, I'm Dane. I'm Scott. I'm Bob. And I'm Clint. And, and we're, we're the Moffats. We, we have love songs on our album. We have we have fun, up tempo songs on our album. And we just have we have songs for girls, guys, and just for everybody. We we've always had a philosophy that that um, that we we be the easiest group to ever work with, and we also want to make a lot of people happy. And and um, but there's there's a lot to it. It's not it's not an easy business to be in, but it's it's a lot of fun. Tell me what's to keep us from reaching for the heart. No how. My favorite part is walking out on stage and hearing the people scream for you. It's, it's really cool to go out there and hear the people scream. And, and I like to, it's fun to so, write songs that you can perform on stage that you, you wrote yourself. Well, we had the idea to have a line dance for the Caterpillar Crawl, and so we wanted to uh, invent it. It's the Caterpillar Crawl. They've got fat ones, skinny ones, short ones, and tall. It's a really fun dance to do. It's, it's easy, but it's it's it looks really cool. It's a really cool line dance. They've got fat ones, skinny ones, short ones, and tall. And they all come to do the caterpillar crawl. On our album, most of the songs that we cut have great messages to them, and that's partly why I think some of the fans like our music. We're young guys singing in music, and, and you hardly get to see young guys singing on talk shows, and it's, it's, it's really cool to be unique. We're, we're, we try to be as unique as we can, and that's that's partly why I think why the fans like us. the 90-minute hit list Moffat special. Banff Sunshine Village welcomes the Moffats and of course so does the hit list. Come on guys! Woo! 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 They're pumped to be on the hit list. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Hit list rocks! I was afraid that you were going to throw a snowball at me. Uh, he was but he took it out of the end. That's a good I thing. I took it out of the sign. That's a good thing because I've got big muscles and you know big I could really muscles, big. get them. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you guys are here writing songs. Yep. Do tell. Is it for your new record, for the Scooby Doo? For our new album. Okay. Um, actually, the Scooby Doo thing's not gonna happen. I mean, we um, we were supposed to do it, but due to time, we could not do it. But we're recording. We're writing here for our next album, and we're we're thankful that we're here because Sunshine provides us with a lot of inspiration. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, we've we're, um, our our music is a lot more alternative now. It's not as it's not quite as 
poppy as I'll be there for you. I'm not even close to as poppy. And you've matured and, um, as men, you have matured as mu musicians, vocalists, you know. So it's all kind of just flowing, you know. It's all gelling together. And uh, expect something different, but expect that commercial e essence that that was on the last down too, you know. Now you guys are going to LA, actually. <laughs> You guys are going to LA actually at the end of this month, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah. To record this yeah. album that you speak of. We start off with Glenn Ballard, who um, I hope a lot of you know. Um, he's uh, he produced Elias Morissette, a lot of Aerosmith. Um, he's a legendary producer, and then we move on to Paul Fox, who produced Fish and uh, The Wallflowers, and then we do some stuff with Doug Wimish, who um, who was in The Living Color, The Basis. He's a phenomenal musician. And then we work with the Berman Brothers, who produced I'll Be There For You, Mr. Like Crazy, Crazy. But it's gonna, they're gonna, they're, they totally changed their producing style. It's not, it's not um, instead of using the Yamaha, a drum loops, <laughs> we're gonna make our own loops. And it's gonna be, I think the, the gel is gonna flow yeah. when we go in the studio well. with all these people. Well, do you have a title yet for this record, and when can we yes. expect it? It's called Am I Hallucinating? No. Um, we don't yeah, know what it is, actually. Title, we didn't thought of what art, you know, there's been you know, some ideas fooling around. We've actually been thinking of some artwork ideas just because this is something we want to totally get creatively involved in. 100%. Uh, 100%. It's going to be called a tribute to YTV. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's going to be the to headless. YTV. It's going to be the headless to YTV. That's what it's going to be called. Do I yeah. get a song then? Is there like yes. an Xan song? Yeah. And uh, a Leslie yeah. song? Xan. <laughs> What? You don't, you don't have to put on your you It sounds strangely like this group called the police. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you guys are working more than vacationing up here. Have you had a chance to go skiing or? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the three days, the first three days we were up here, man. Every single morning we'd go out about nine o'clock and come back in about twelve. You know, we had to let all the the writers. You know, they had to ski because you know, no fun. You know, all, all work, no play, make for a dull day. You know, we had to, we had to sort of you know, compromise with this. We let them ski in. Everybody's just in love. Well, we'll have to ski today awesome. because the snow is just absolutely ripe right now. Yeah, it's powder. So, powder. Yeah, and I hear this guy keeps dragging you down the diamond runs. He yeah. is. He's yeah. I don't ski with him. I ski with, uh, I ski with Bob the other day. Yeah. Uh, just ski. You know, I, I've never skied. Are you kidding? We're on this double black time. I'm doing huge jumps now. Jump Where do Get all that out of here. Wow, man. So I hear through the pine trees that you guys are moving back to Canada. Yes, yes we are. So, it's, uh, it's a confirmed rumor now. We uh, have a summer home back in Canada. In Canada. And, um, in Calgary. In Calgary, yeah. And um, our uh, residence, so that we, uh, the, the majority of our time, we spend in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, we're actually going to move that um, location probably to uh, LA. LA, yeah. Probably. And it's like, because it's, it's more like a center place because our record label's there. Um, a lot of like our a lot of our agents are there and stuff like that. So we have to really be uh, in a place where you know we have our people. Yeah. You know? Well, how did you guys find this Moffat Mansion? Well, we actually we were <laughs> funny story. We were driving in, into Bray Creek where we saw a lot of these homes, mansions, and uh, <laughs> we were driving. And we, in fact, they're, we were, they're a lot like castles. And we were we were, uh, we, we were sort of looking at all these places. And there's one place at our sales site, but it was not one of the houses that they gave us to look at. And we look at it and we're like, wow, this place is beautiful. Let's go look inside. So we sort of looked around, you know, walked around, looked in the windows, and it was like, it was awesome. It's so we got the person that was giving us all these pictures of houses and stuff to so sort of look at it. And, yeah. and first of all, she wasn't actually the one supposed to be you know, herself, but she actually got the DI. It's, it's just a beautiful home. We love it.